Welcome to Twitting Time with us here at Liberty Living. We have a seven step mindset master challenge using a panacea system. So we're gonna show you how to use the panacea and we're dedicating seven minutes each day to focusing on, on positive psychology, an improved mindset, and raising our vibration to align to our desired outcomes by breaking epigenetic patterns and old belief paradigms to develop and master a twinning, twinning mindset. In this video, we will be covering solutions to break inherent patterns and recode subconscious programming to permanently improve outcomes to specific conditions since there's no quick fixes. So stay tuned. So step one is breaking patterns and using a seven step panacea model. So for those who want to align to new outcomes and need quick solutions or just tune up, and are ready to overcome a present challenge, whether it's related to childhood, epigenetic, or generational patterns. By utilizing proven recoding strategies, therapeutic questions and exercises to overcome sabotage behaviors and limiting beliefs related to unhealthy negative patterns. We believe in a holistic approach to healing, which addresses the whole scope of the individual. When we transform our core internal programming, we will transform all other facets of life because they are symptoms of the problem. For instance, when we heal our psychology, we'll improve our finances, relationships, health, behaviors, and so forth. So if you want healthier behaviors and decision making, then mastering a healthy mindset will ensure success in each domain of life. Our purpose is to empower individuals, professionals, couples, and families to leverage advanced psychological tools that will enable them to successfully live their ideal reality, liberating families and future generations. Step one is the presenting problem. So this step is more than likely going to be revealed through a person, a pattern, or a pain point. So how to decode the subconscious blocks and identify our blind spots and cognitive distortions are often revealed through conflicting beliefs and limiting beliefs. This step also helps us to recode conditioned beliefs, our epigenetic and generational patterns by reframing the subconscious mind at a core genetic level, getting to the source of the issue and heal the internal programming that causes continual setbacks, which are generally recycled patterns. So what is the pattern or problem? And what belief was formed from this pattern? Everything happens according to our beliefs and what we put our faith in. So our experiences all boil down to changing our beliefs. So, how do we change our beliefs? Number one, learn what the lesson was teaching us and what change we wish to see, such as what is the ideal solution or outcome. Number two, look at counter beliefs to match the new belief, even if it's demonstrated by others to reinforce a new belief or mantra. For example, have you been able to achieve something in the past that you didn't believe you would or could have otherwise? So repeat this new desired belief or mantra until it is embodied. And in this presenting problem, to decode the subconscious block, it helps us to gain awareness around the blind spot as perceived voids from the parent-child patterns transferred within our primary relationships, often unwittingly. So being aware that all answers are manufactured within and not outside of us. Often generational patterns are the limiting beliefs and fears that are repeating parents' mistakes or opposing their behavior to avoid repeating their mistakes and creating opposition. So what is the problem? pattern or pain point, such as the trigger. Is it a power struggle, a conflict with a parent-child, or even a partner pattern? These inherited beliefs and unmet child needs are responsible for shaping the majority of our behaviors and core beliefs because they were both modeled to us and transferred genetically. For this reason, and particularly for those who were raised by their biological parents, inherent dispositions can be the most difficult emotional patterns to overcome. Unmet needs evolve as a result of the child seeking the love, affection, comfort, or even the protection of the parent during difficult times, and perhaps perceiving those needs as not being met, or regardless of whether the parent did his or her best to adequately meet the child's needs at that time. So we're going to go ahead and take this step and use the mirror technique, which is a profound way to begin identifying and decoding blind spots in our generational patterns and gaining awareness through people and external situations. So this is how we use the powerful mirror technique. So discover who the key players are in your life and why all relationships reflect the relationship you have with yourself. So our parents or our parental uh, figures and caretakers leave an imprint influencing how we relate to others, as well as the relationships we have with ourselves. So we must start with a mirror of the parent-child relationship to get beneath the surface. 
So for many, the mirror will translate from their parents to that of our other authority figures, our siblings, and onto our romantic relationships, such as our spouses, our partners, and other significant others. So begin this step by making a list of each of your key players that have had an important role in your life, challenging and catalyzing your growth potential based on the relationship mirror, including your parents or any partner relationships. Everyone around us is a mirror and reflects to us some aspect about ourselves, such as our psychological programming and our character traits. By recognizing our strengths and weaknesses, we are at an advantage if we can see where an imbalance is being reflected to us through others. The easiest way to do this is by looking at our judgments and emotional reactions, which are just projections about ourselves and where we have room for growth and improvement. So when we use the mirror technique to recognize our judgments as a projection of an imbalance within our own self, we can make peace with these traits within our others so that we are no longer in judgment and can make appropriate and empowering changes within ourselves. In this case, so that others no longer appear aggressive, controlling, bossy, or even dominating in their interactions with you. It's never about the other person or trying to change the other person. So, our emotional reactions are a result of distorted beliefs and epigenetic programming that serve as internal mirrors into our blind spots, our unresolved and suppressed feelings, and the unmet needs from psychological conditioning and subconscious programming. We can identify this in our negative patterns, such as why do these situations easily provoke me, or why do bad things only happen to me. The mirror technique also applies to other external circumstances, such as work, health, and personal matters. In a quote by Rhonda Byrne in her book, The Power, when you fall in love with life, every limitation disappears. You break the limitations on money, health, happiness, and the limits of joy in the relationships. Because our limitations disappear when we fall in love with life, here are a few gratitude exercises. How can you learn to love something about your limitations? Have they somehow taught you to become better? What has this challenge taught you that you can be grateful for, such as a new skill? And what can't you live without that you have in your life right now? Think of people that you value or what you love in your life, such as a home, a healthy body, etc. Gratitude for the abundance you have received is the best insurance that the abundance will continue. by Muhammad. So if you wish to learn more and are truly ready to transform your conditions and your relationships from a care programming for good, then go ahead and click the link below to get started to access our complete set of step penalty system. Please let us know if you gained any value from this and by sharing this video with your loved ones, liking and subscribing so we can make more beneficial videos.